majesty awesome God how great thou art you O God mighty are your miracles we stand in awe of your holy name Lord we bow and worship oh awesome God oh how great you are God Mighty are your miracles We stand of your holy name Holy bow, Lord, we bow and worship you Oh, we say, your son God Oh, how great God, you are God, mighty are your miracles, we stand in of your holy name, oh we bow, Lord we bow, and worship, oh Lord we bow, It's a privilege to worship you, maker of all you need It's an honor just to stand before you, say,
ओ लॉर्ड हाले लुया ओ पुमाया ओ लॉर्ड हाले लुया ओ पुमाया ओ लॉर्ड आई एम रेडी टू हियर यू फादर लॉर्ड जीसस we have come again to land at your feet open my ear open my eyes open my heart to hear you and to be the doer of your word tonight do what you can do thank you heavenly father you, jesus mighty name we pray amen tonight in a dingy deep we shall be looking at the topic that says journey into god's power journey into god's power don't forget last week we discussed about the increasing in the knowledge of god so today we are looking at journey into god's power and our test will be taken from the book of acts of apostle chapter 1 verse 8 Acts of Apostle 1 verse 8. I read. But ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem. And in all Judea. And in Samaria. And unto the uttermost part of the earth. May Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts. In the name of Jesus. Amen. One of the conditions to have God's power is to be filled with Holy Ghost. Or you may say Holy Spirit. Which we enable you to witness boldly. When you look at the book of 1 Corinthians 4 verse 20. 1 Corinthians 4 verse 20. Bible says, for the kingdom of God is not in the world. But in power. I pray for someone here tonight. By the time you are living here, you will receive the power of God. Amen. God has promised us his children power. Power to salvation. Power to preach the word of God with boldness. Power to heal. Power to deliver the oppressed. It is an amazing promise. Imagine the same God who by his word made the universe. When you look at the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. Genesis 1 verse 3. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Power in the word of God. Before you leave this place, you will receive the power. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Brethren, you are welcome once again to today's teaching. And I pray that God will receive the power as he has promised us in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Our topic for today's teaching is journey into God's power. But let us look at the introduction. What is the essence of God's call in our life without power that must be made manifest in declaration? And signs are wonders. But unfortunately, many Christians seek for shortcut to get the power of God. There's power in godliness. Jesus was holy and he was powerful. There is tremendous power for us in God's world. Psalm 62 verse 11, you can read it. But God, but not without holiness. There is power in the word of God. But not without holiness. May God bless us richly. I will, as we study at this feast tonight in Jesus' name. Yeah. 
There's only one outline in our teaching tonight. And it is holiness precede power. Holiness precede power. Humility precede holiness. First Peter 5 6. First Peter chapter 5 verse 6. Let us see. Bible says, Humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God. That he may assert you in due time. True, the holiness is the product of grace. That is why God gives this grace to only the humble. If you can humble yourself before Almighty God, can live a pure life, you'll be empowered. When you read the book of James, chapter 4, verse 6 and 10, James says, James 4, 6 and 10. James 4, 6 and 10. But he given more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisted the proud, but give grace unto the humble. And verse 10, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. And it shall lift you up. I pray for someone here tonight. You are receiving the power of God. And God will lift you up in Jesus name. Amen. It is when you are humble. Yourself. That you can see yourself clearly. And be able to prepare. For the power. That God will give to you. Why? So that you will not misuse it. But if you are not prepared, if you don't see yourself, you don't humble yourself, when the power comes, power may destroy. And you may misuse the power. In order for you not to misuse the power, you have to prepare. You have to know yourself. And you have to humble. Mm. If you look at the book of Matthew 11, verse 29, Matthew 11, 29, Bible says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in half, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For us to get the power of God, we must learn from our source, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Then the product and the arrogant are hypocrites and they are full of so many vices they love to judge others this make them feel superior to others for example when you look at the the story of the the publican and the pharisees you can get that in the book of luke chapter 18 from verse 9 to 11 Luke 18, 9 to 11. These two people went to pray. And the Pharisees, instead of him to go straight through, uh, to go straight to a whole matter or prayer requests, he was feeling more superior to the publican. He said, I pay my tithe, I pay my offering. I give to the needy, to the needy. I do this, I do that. If you are such, or such people cannot be empowered by the Holy Ghost. Because it is only by grace we can take, we can get things easily from God. That is why we must humble ourselves before God. It is there in deep repentance that God came down with his mighty power. The publican knew he was not qualified. And he prayed that God should have mercy and qualify him because he has sinned that is not righteous. 
is not holy. But the Pharisees saw himself as holy as a righteous man. Brethren, who are you? Therefore, if you want God's power as his children to face all the battles in life, we must be very humble. I pray for you today that God will help us to be totally broken down so that he can use us in this end time. We can see all what is happening in the whole world. The rich also cry. But God has promised us that the time has come that we empower us. May you receive the power of God tonight in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray to God. Say, Father, Father please, I need your grace. In this journey, I am not qualified for anything from you. But please, Lord, have mercy on me and qualify me to be empowered. Shall we talk to God? Shall we talk to God? Father, I'm not righteous. I'm not holy. Lord, please have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Please qualify me to be empowered so that I can walk the, your walk. I can do more for you in this same time. Lord, I've not seen myself like Pharisees. Lord, I humble myself before you. The grace to follow you. The grace to be the Jew of your world. The grace to be holy. The grace to be pure. Father, bestow upon me. Qualify me, Lord, to be a power tonight. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you all.